Ever wondered how canned tuna is made? Canned tuna has become a staple in many households worldwide, appreciated for its versatility, convenience, and nutritional benefits. It is often included in salads, sandwiches, and casseroles, and serves as a quick protein source for busy lifestyles. In this exploration, we will walk through every step of how canned tuna is produced in factories, starting from the sourcing of raw materials to the final product that reaches your kitchen shelves. This detailed process highlights the importance of quality control, hygiene, and sustainable practices that ensure consumers receive the best possible product. The journey of canned tuna begins with sourcing the raw materials, which primarily involves the fish itself. Tuna is mainly caught in the warm waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The fishing methods used to catch these fish can vary, but sustainability is a growing concern in the industry. Many fishing companies are now adopting practices that ensure they do not overfish populations, thereby allowing tuna stocks to replenish. Fishermen often use purse seines or long lines to catch tuna. Purse seine fishing involves encircling a school of fish with a large net and then drawing it tight, while long line fishing uses a line with baited hooks stretched over long distances. Before fishing vessels head out, they usually undergo inspections to ensure that their gear and methods comply with regulations aimed at protecting marine life. This is crucial as it helps to prevent the bycatch of non-target species such as dolphins or turtles. Once the fish are caught, they are immediately processed to maintain their freshness. It is essential to have efficient systems in place to sort and store the fish. Fishing boats often have onboard freezers or refrigerated holds to keep the catch at low temperatures, usually below zero degrees Celsius. This quick freezing helps to lock in the quality and flavor of the tuna, preventing spoilage before it reaches the processing plant. Upon arrival at the processing facility, the tuna undergoes a thorough inspection. Trained professionals check the fish for freshness, ensuring they are in prime condition for canning. If any fish show signs of deterioration or do not meet quality standards, they are discarded. This inspection stage is crucial in guaranteeing that only the best raw materials are used in production, thereby safeguarding the end product's quality. Once the tuna is confirmed to be fresh, the next step is initial cleaning and preparation. The fish are transported to a processing area, where they are carefully cleaned. This process typically involves removing the scales, guts, and fins. Cleaning is done using a combination of manual methods and machines designed for efficiency. For example, fish scaling machines help remove scales quickly without damaging the meat beneath. After scaling, the fish are gutted, which involves removing the internal organs and rinsing the fish thoroughly with fresh water to eliminate any residue. Quality assurance continues throughout the cleaning process. Workers wear protective gear, and the processing areas are maintained under strict hygiene standards. This includes regular cleaning of equipment and surfaces to prevent contamination. Once cleaned, the tuna is cut into manageable pieces, which makes it easier for further processing. Following the initial preparation, the primary processing stage begins. This is where the fish are transformed into the product that will eventually be canned. Depending on the desired final product, the tuna may undergo different methods of cooking. For example, some brands choose to steam the fish, while others may use oil. Steaming is often preferred for producing a healthier product, as it preserves more of the fish's natural flavor and nutrients. If the fish is to be canned in oil, it may be cooked at specific temperatures for a set period to ensure thorough cooking. Cooking times typically range from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the fish pieces. During this process, the fish is also inspected to check for any imperfections or unwanted parts. After cooking, the tuna is cooled rapidly to stop the cooking process and preserve the quality. This is often done using water sprays or cold air systems designed for industrial use. The rapid cooling not only helps maintain the fish's texture, but also ensures that it remains safe for consumption. Now that the tuna is fully processed, it enters the secondary processing or refining stage. This step is vital for enhancing the overall quality and flavor of the product. Depending on the brand, this may involve adding seasonings or marinades to the fish. Some manufacturers might choose to flavor the tuna with herbs, spices, or even different oils to cater to varying consumer tastes. At this stage, the product is also tested for quality. Samples are taken to check for taste, texture, and moisture content, ensuring that the final product meets the company's standards. Quality control is a crucial aspect of the production process, as it helps prevent defects and guarantees a consistent product for consumers. As we approach the end of the production process, the next crucial phase is packaging. Proper packaging is essential for maintaining the freshness and safety of the tuna. Canned products are typically sealed in metal cans to protect them from light and air, which can cause spoilage. The packaging process involves several steps, starting with filling the cans with the cooked tuna. 
Before the filling process begins, cans are thoroughly cleaned and sterilized to ensure they are free of any contaminants. This is done using high-pressure steam or hot water, which effectively sanitizes the containers. After sterilization, the cleaned cans are transported to the filling line, where they are filled with the cooked fish. Automated machines are often employed in this stage to ensure precise filling and minimize waste. Once the cans are filled, brine or oil is typically added to keep the fish moist and enhance its flavor. The amount of liquid added can vary depending on the product's specifications. For instance, some consumers prefer tuna packed in water for a lighter option, while others might opt for tuna packed in oil for added richness. After filling, the cans are sealed tightly to prevent any contamination or leakage. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. The sealed cans then move on to the next step, which is sterilization. This process involves heating the filled cans to a specific temperature for a set period to eliminate any harmful bacteria and ensure the product is safe for consumption. The heating process is crucial as it extends the shelf life of the product. Canned products are designed to last for several years when stored properly, making them a convenient choice for consumers. After sterilization, the cans are cooled rapidly to stop the cooking process. This is often done using cold water sprays or air cooling systems, similar to the methods used earlier in the process. Once cooled, the cans are inspected once again for any defects in sealing or packaging. Any cans that do not meet the quality standards are removed from the production line. Now that the tuna is fully processed and packaged, it is ready for storage and distribution. Proper storage is essential to maintain the quality and safety of the product. Canned tuna is typically stored in a cool, dry place until it is shipped out to retailers or consumers. Warehouses often have temperature and humidity controls to ensure that the products remain in optimal conditions. When it comes to distribution, logistics play a vital role. Canned products are often transported in bulk using refrigerated trucks to ensure they remain fresh during transit. Companies typically use a network of distributors to reach various markets, whether local grocery stores, supermarkets, or specialty shops. Depending on the scale of production, a factory Factory can produce thousands of cans per hour, allowing for a steady supply to meet consumer demand. As we delve deeper into the production of canned tuna, it is important to note the economic impact this industry has on communities involved in both fishing and processing. Millions of people around the world depend on fishing as a primary source of income. In many coastal regions, tuna fishing supports local economies by providing jobs for fishermen, factory workers, and those involved in distribution and retail. The canned tuna market itself generates billions in sales annually, with countries like Japan, the United States, and several European nations being the largest consumers. Sustainability remains a pressing concern within the tuna industry. Overfishing and illegal fishing practices have led to significant declines in tuna populations, prompting consumers to become more conscientious about the products they purchase. Many companies now carry certifications from organizations that promote sustainable fishing practices, such as the Marine Stewardship Council. These certifications reassure consumers that the tuna they are buying is sourced responsibly, ensuring future generations can enjoy this important food source. Additionally, efforts are being made to improve traceability within the tuna supply chain. Consumers are increasingly interested in knowing where their food comes from, how it was caught, and whether it was processed ethically. Many brands are now implementing tracking systems that allow consumers to trace their canned products back to the fishing vessel and catch location. This level of transparency is becoming a key selling point for brands looking to build trust with their customers. As we reflect on the journey from the ocean to the can, it becomes clear that the production of canned tuna is a multifaceted process that involves a careful balance of quality, sustainability, and consumer preference. From the meticulous sourcing of fish to the rigorous quality checks at every stage of processing, every effort is made to ensure that the final product is safe, tasty, and of the highest standard. In terms of nutrition, canned tuna is often praised for its high protein content and omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health. It is also a source of essential vitamins and minerals, making it a popular choice among health-conscious consumers. As dietary trends evolve, so too does how consumers use canned tuna in their meals. Whether enjoyed as a quick snack, a protein boost in salads, or as an ingredient in gourmet recipes, the versatility of canned tuna continues to attract a wide range of culinary applications. Moreover, the canning process itself plays a significant role in preserving the nutritional value of the tuna. The high temperatures used during sterilization not only kill harmful bacteria, but also help retain the essential nutrients that contribute to the health benefits associated with eating fish. This makes canned tuna a convenient and nutritious option for individuals seeking to maintain a balanced diet. As the world becomes more interconnected, the impact of global trade on the canned tuna market cannot be overlooked. Various countries engage in the trade of canned products, with 
some regions exporting large quantities of tuna to meet international demand. Countries like Thailand and Ecuador are known for their significant production capabilities, processing tuna, and exporting it worldwide. The global nature of this industry creates both opportunities and challenges, such as navigating different regulations and standards in various markets. To address these challenges, companies are continually innovating their processing and distribution methods. Advancements in technology have made it possible to enhance production efficiency from automated canning lines that maximize output to improved refrigeration techniques that extend shelf life during transport. Furthermore, digital tracking systems allow for better inventory management, ensuring that products reach consumers while still fresh. Looking ahead, the future of canned tuna production appears promising, with increased focus on sustainability, health, and consumer preferences driving changes in the industry. As environmental awareness continues to rise, brands that prioritize responsible sourcing and transparency will likely gain a competitive edge. Moreover, the demand for nutritious, convenient options like canned tuna is expected to remain strong. In summary, the production of canned tuna involves a complex but carefully orchestrated process that ensures high-quality, safe, and delicious products for consumers. From the initial sourcing of fish to the final packaging and distribution, every step is designed to uphold quality standards while adhering to hygiene and sustainability practices. Canned tuna continues to be a beloved option for many, and understanding the journey it takes from ocean to table only enhances our appreciation for this versatile food. If you enjoyed learning about how canned tuna is made, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content on food production. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we hope to see you again soon.